What I do is awesome, but wrestling and trapping alligators, it definitely has its risks. So I was actually on a date last week, uh, halfway through the date, and Paul calls me about an alligator, so obviously I have to go get it. Um, but it was a blessing in disguise because the guy didn't want to come with me, so there will not be a second date. My name is Gabby, I'm 22 years old. I'm a volunteer at Everglades Holiday Park, and I also catch alligators for Gator Boys Alligator Rescue. I've only been doing this for four months. I have been very fortunate, and I have not had any mishaps. I still have all 10 of my fingers, and I plan on keeping all of them. Hey, piggyback ride. Since I was like 15, I've always loved reptiles. Um, and obviously we don't have alligators in New York, so when I moved here, I just, I fell in love with them. When I first told my parents that I was wrestling alligators, they weren't too excited, but they support me in everything I do. Uh, my name is Paul Bedard. I'm the, uh, basically the owner of Gator Boys Alligator Rescue. The big difference with Gabby is just her passion. And you can see that from day one. She kind of gives them these anthropomorphic qualities like I do. You make them seem like they're human and they're your buddies and they're not. They don't like us, they tolerate us, but she understands that and she loves them nonetheless. Swampy! Hi, Swampy. This is the love of my life. This is Swamp Thing. When are you guys getting married? I don't know, it's up to him. Yeah, never. He's not that my stupid. My angel. <laughs> Hi, love. Where are you going? Hey, hey don't leave me. A lot of people just assume I'm crazy and you know, Tell me that I'm insane. You know, obviously if you see a person kissing an alligator, but they don't understand that the alligators that I work with are typically really sweet and I'm able to get away with that. Well, when you're first learning to wrestle alligators, it's a slow process and you worked with a taped gator. And then from there, you know, the tape slowly comes off and you start doing it more and more. Now keep in mind I'm alone. So now I'm on her back and I need to come up with a way to hold the jaw shut, freeing up both of my hands, I'll be holding the jaw shut by using your chin and your chest. Take your pictures quickly. So you get a rope, couple of ropes, tie knots, and you have yourself a caught and tied alligator. I like working with predators and showing like the nicer side of them. Snakes have always really been my thing and a lot of people are afraid of snakes. So I feel like if they see a girl with a snake, they're more like open to changing their mind and maybe not thinking they're so dangerous. Uh, it's the same with alligators. Okay, the last trick is called the face off. And that's because if it goes horribly, horribly wrong, yeah, your face comes off. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up her mouth and place my chin on the top of her jaw. Now, if anything falls inside the mouth, a drop of sweat, sand, as a reaction, the jaws will immediately slam shut. Um, so we're gonna do this nice and carefully. Whenever you're working with an animal, there are risks, obviously, but when you're working with a large predator like this, you can lose your hand, you can lose fingers, it can rip your arm off, they're no joke. All right, thank you, Mac, you are free to go. Uh, but as you guys can see, no hurt feelings, no animosity. I treated her with respect, she did the same. So that does conclude the show, guys. Thank you so much for coming today, have a great day. So when we go and trap alligators, they're nuisance alligators. So a nuisance alligator is any alligator that is deemed to be a threat to people, pets, or livestock. So sometimes they're in swimming pools, the golf course. A lot of the time people just don't want them in the backyard because they're afraid of them. Okay, so the state just issued out um, a permit to us for two alligators. Apparently she's seen them in the area the last week, but I think she spotted them today. I thought I did, but I don't see them anymore. Just look over there. All right, so the alligator is responding to the call box right now. He's actually coming closer. So if he gets close enough, uh, we'll be able to hopefully cast on him. Don't breathe when I'm biting my All right, he's way down the corner now. So we've been here for about 20 minutes now. The gator still hasn't popped up, so uh, it's not looking great, but who knows, anything can happen. Hopefully he'll pop up, but they could hold their breath four to six hours, so he may be down for the day. Most trappers will catch the alligator and kill it and sell it for its meat and hide. Paul and I are two of the very few trappers in the entire state that don't kill the alligator. 
In the future, I definitely plan on working with animals. My entire life, I'm going to always be surrounded by animals. Um, I see myself trapping in the future, for sure, rescuing alligators. And uh, I'm planning on keeping all 10 of my fingers. Hopefully, that, <laughs> that happens.